Hey guys, so Rudy was just going to share a little bit about bioavailability and we have a topic, it's uh, RDA, Recommended Daily Allowances. And we love to work with products that are highly bioavailable. So Rudy, could you just share a little bit about what you know about RDAs and, and comparisons? Yeah, what I know that the RDA, the, when they um, decided how much it has to be, it dated back from the 60s. So <clears throat> that's a long time ago, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, even though in those days, you know, the food had, was more dense. So... Um, um, Nowadays, you know, the processed food and, and even the organic food uh, test and results <clears throat> and the research has been shown that there's more than 50% less in the food uh, concerning nutrients. So, it's very hard to get your nutrients. So, and BTT, like uh, Beyond Tangy Tangerine 2.0, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I know that uh, the bioavailability is like 98%. Uh, wow. And that's very high. Um, and that's also because it's um, um, the components are uh, small. You can you can you have to drink it. So because it's liquid, um, it, it bypasses the stomach. Yeah, yeah the yeah. stomach. It sounds like the stomach wouldn't have to break it down. Versus yeah. if it yeah if it was in a capsule, a gelatin capsule, the body's gonna have to break down that gelatin to get into the nutrients. Mm -hmm. Or if it was in a pressed tablet, the body's gonna have to break it down to get access to it. Yes. Yeah. And that's what you have with, like, uh, you have vitamin, you know, the vitamins like uh, multivitamins. Um, most of the time you take, can take one pill and then you have the uh, recommended um, uh, daily uh, allowances. A recommended daily allowances in one pill, is yeah. that what you're saying? So the one pill is labeled with an RDA of 100%. Yes. And that would be only if you absorbed every single nutrient in that one pill. Yeah, that's right. it. Right, so what's the problem you foresee? So I take that pill, well, what happens then? If you take that pill, you know, it, it, it comes, um, it comes uh, to the stomach. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. And in the stomach, you know, it has to be digested, you know. It, uh, so it, uh, the acid, it, has to like how do you say it um, break it down break it down uh -huh. and with that process uh, most of the time uh, been shown that only 10 percent is left to go through the intestine interesting that's crazy yeah. so you take this pill it has a hundred percent of your rda and then only 10 percent of it is actually going to be broken down to even be absorbed into your body and utilized by your cells and then even people who use gluten, you know, mm -hmm. uh, for a long time maybe, or um, it has been shown that also when you use gluten, your absorption in the intestine mm -hmm. is uh, way much lower than you know normally should okay. do. Uh, for instance, if they, uh, a lot of people who use gluten do have 50% less absorption capacity. Got it. So if you uh, add the ten percent, right, and only of the ten percent is fifty percent what you can absorb because of using the gluten, you keep only five percent of the wow. pill. You know? Right, right. So should you do you want to have the the same amount, the hundred percent? You have to, you know, get twenty of the big pills. You know, twenty pills. For those of you who hate <laughs> taking big pills, that would be twenty multivitamins a day to get 100% of your RDA, which by the way, we Rudy initially pointed out was assessed in the 1960s when we knew very little about nutrition. So our RDA levels are definitely way lower than they should be anyway. Yeah. So you're just barely, one multivitamin, you guys, is just barely covering any of your nutritional yeah. needs. And ask if someone is using multivitamins, ask them, does it help you? Does it energize you? you will say, they will say no. Right. But they know right. that it, they've heard that it is good for you. So, and that's why BTT has a so. Uh, it's like if you want to have a bake a good cake, you have the right ingredients. BTT is uh, I call it BTT. You know, Beyond Tandy Tangerine. Yes, two yes. Point oh. It is uh, um, the doses are much higher. You know, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. uh, so. And if you ask someone who has um, uh, used BTT, right. uh, almost 100% of people that uh, are using 
Right. Beyond 2010 would say, I feel far more energized most of the time uh, within three days. Agreed. And you know, you know what's cool, you guys? Rudy lives in Holland. I live in the United States. I'm here in Lasser, Holland with him right now, which is on the far um, west, excuse me, east side of the country. And I live in the United States of America in Arizona. And I have had multiple times patients will be starting on their Beyond Tangy Tangerine. And within three days, it's almost like I can anticipate it. I won't even have to call and follow up. I will be getting calls myself saying, wow, I can't believe I'm getting such an immediate result. And what Rudy and I have just discovered and discussed with you guys, and we love questions, of course, and feedback, is that the reason is it's in a liquid form. You yourself put the liquid in, so you're, you're, it's already broken down. It's bioavailable yes. that way. It's also bioavailable because it's in organic form. And what that means is that previously a plant has utilized it. A plant has picked it up in the inorganic form. It's gone through a conversion of sorts and now it's in its organic form. You and I, Rudy and I, can only use the organic form of amino acids, um, vitamins, minerals. They have to be, well vitamins are made up of other things, but the point is, is those organic minerals are now utilizable by the body. So BTT, Beyond Tangy Tangerine, wow, it's got like all these great things going for it, 98% absorbable, and you will see it, and both of us have seen it multiple mm -hmm. times. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. And once you start using it and you experience what it does with you and how like in a very small uh, time span, mm -hmm. your body is mm -hmm. like uh, benefit, benefiting all the, uh, because of the nutrients. Right. Um, it, it is amazing, like I had um, like lung issues, like mucus, uh, bronchitis. Really? Uh, yeah, uh, mm -hmm. skin issues. I had uh, like irregular heartbeat. Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. was, I was afraid just to hear my own heartbeat. Right. And, um, you know, it all went away within two months. Right. It was, I was just blown away. And I, I, I never have experienced so much like, um, uh, energy and, 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 and that's great yeah. revitalization you know it's what he's you know I feel that that's a great word an, an English word you know he was literally revitalized and one of the things we talk about on these shows is you know repairing and regenerating your body and living a longer life that's filled with vitality and that's important all of us out here listening you know we we, we take the time to to tap into these things because we are seekers and we're looking to have this experience and what what's great about Rudy's story is he was willing to try new things he was willing to explore and explore and I tell people to do that all the time you know at least try it you know try going gluten free just seriously commit to it and you know what it's really really hard I know how hard it is it's everywhere your kids pizza parties you're eating muffins cakes etc it's really difficult but try it give yourself two weeks gluten free and then if you're ready Hey, think about it. Would you, you know, maybe invest in some nutrients with someone like myself or someone like Rudy or someone that you know, you know, a personal friend that supports um, Dr. Joe Wallach in the mission. He's on a global crusade, which is pretty epic. But ignoring even the supplements, just you yourself saying, hey, I'm going to try to go gluten free, just see what would happen. I mean, it's, it's really limitless what you can do with, with the choices you make on a daily so Rudy, thanks for doing the RDA. Yeah, yes, you but have... you say okay. like it's, it, it's hard for gluten free. But you, I, you, you, you had some meals with me. Okay? I did, I did. You liked it? I did. You liked it? I it did. was all gluten free. Wow. Yes, it was all gluten free. I didn't miss anything, you guys. I didn't miss, I didn't feel like I was missing anything. And why is that? Because, okay, I was a, you know, I, 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 I was a chef mm -hmm. once, once. So I used that. Um, uh, so, but for me, it's totally not, uh, it's very easy to go gluten free, right? Because I have the knowledge of what is good mm -hmm, to bake with mm -hmm, or how mm -hmm. to cook things, right? Right. You know, as far as I think is, if you dive into like a little bit the information about how you can cook gluten free and what is gluten free, then you will see that gluten free is nothing less than only leaving your bread or do gluten-free bread or yes. do gluten-free pasta and gluten-free pizzas you have them uh, and that's the main thing all that and cookies why should you do that 
All right, all right. Or you can make gluten-free cookies. You have it. I used to make uh, quinoa flour cookies, and um, hopefully next time I come to visit Rudy, I'll, I'll get some baking going on. Okay. And yeah, so quinoa flour, it's a very nutty flour, and it makes a great cookie. And you can put walnuts in there and some really nice dark chocolate chunks. And Rudy and I are going to be doing some recipes together, too, yes, yes, which yes, is going to yes. be a blast. But yeah, you guys know, you don't need to deprive yourself of anything. You do need to change your habits. And gluten's put in everything. It's extremely addictive. Rudy, I have one of my pet peeves, horrible story. I was in L.A., and I reached for a jar of mayonnaise in my friend's refrigerator, and I read the... I don't know why. Oh, no. I made the dish first. Took a bite of it. It tasted horrible. I mm. spit it out. I was like, what could have gone wrong? It was just tuna fish, right? The only thing I put in there that I didn't know was the mayonnaise. And I read the label, and in the mayonnaise was um, sugar and wheat flour. And I almost had a heart attack. So guess what, guys? Got to read your labels. It's everywhere. But once you get it out of your body, there's there's a you know there's just a whole process. I think your body gets addicted to it too because it's just like addictive. Oh, I actually I know it is because you're allergic to it. You actually get an endorphin rush. Mm. So you get high from eating gluten. Hence the reason why you're just kind of like I don't want to eat those non-gluten muffins. I really there. Trust me, there's subtle signals that are going out that you know. Because mm -mm. literally, you're, you're slowly killing yourself. Yeah. I believe your body's always communicating with you. But uh, I think that we're so far of being in the state that we could listen to our bodies. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Due to a lot of things. Pharmaceutical use, the food industry, water supply. One of the great things I, I just have to share is this is so exciting. You know, here in Lasser, um, with the water, can you just share a little bit about what's going on with the water here and what you guys do? Yeah, well, from what I've heard, you use like, um, what is that thing you use, chlor? Uh, we use chlorine and fluoride. We use a lot yes. of, we fluoridate our water in the United yes. States. It's here, it's, it's not allowed to have... In, the United, in Holland, it is not allowed. No, from the, I think, in the 70s, beginning 70s, mm -hmm. they, uh, they voted for it, like... It was not possible. They didn't. Uh, it didn't pass through. A lot. I love it. So, I love yeah. it. So, and Thank again, God. yes, and that's another. If, if so, and I have friends out there that study a lot of physiology, and there's a lot of stuff out there about fluoride and what it does to the pineal gland. Mm -hmm. And I know there's some of you listening that understand that calcifying and, of yes. Yes. Your master, one of the master glands of your body. So, and I've, I've noticed this my entire life, you know, spending time in Europe when I was young up until now, you know, they're, they're, it's just overall a fitter culture. And what Rudy was saying about staying in tune with your body, listening to the signals like what I want to eat. Like, do you really want to eat that? Do you really want to eat that glutinous muffin? And versus tapping in and saying, well, no, I'd really like to maybe shred some radishes and mm -hmm. put a little bit of oil and make something else. You, you know, you're paying attention to the signals. So, yeah, there's a big, big food politics. So many things are woven into what we're dealing with. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Well, great, guys. Thanks for joining us. I know we have quite a few on the line. And, oh, wait, hey, Lisa Barone. Um, she's amazing. She's a chef. Uh, she, hopefully she's in Taos, New Mexico. And I met her, I met her in... Um, through Instagram, we met, and she was in Florida at the time doing chef work, which is amazing, her, her right. modality and what she practices. But one of the things she does for her clients is she provides them with gluten-free meals. Great. And she, Great. she does quite well um, financially following her plan and her passion. And that is what it's all about. It's about educating, empowering, and we're all here to do that together. So Rudy and I are definitely going to be doing this for a couple more days. And so post your questions, and we love. We'll see you guys soon. Bye bye. bye.